Lone Conspirator, and this is the first of a series of tutorial videos covering the description.ext file in ARMA 3 editing. Uh, this first video will cover the onload mission command that you find in description.ext. Now, once you select the mission to play, ARMA 3 will show you a picture of the map that your mission takes place on while it's loading into memory. And what the onload mission command does is it adds this little window overlay on top of the map. At the bottom it allows you to put in custom text to describe your mission or whatever message you want to send the player. And you can also customize the photo, which I'll be covering in a later load screen video. This window also shows the game mode, the mission name, and the author of the mission. And I'll show you how to edit that information in a later video. You're going to need ARMA 3 installed on your computer. You're going to need your text editor, which I recommend Notepad++. If you don't have that, I do have a link below that you can get to that. Or you can use the regular Notepad that's on uh, your Windows. Now other text editors will work, such as Word or WordPad, but there are some formatting that they have in those programs that could cause you problems. So I do recommend that you use Notepad or Notepad++ or something similar. Now we're going to start by creating a new mission in multiplayer. Keep in mind that you can play multiplayer as a single player. Uh, it just gives you the option to also play it as multiplayer. So that's why I like to do it this way. Alright, so what we want to do is we want to start a new editor. So you go to play, multiplayer. I usually keep it selected to LAN. This way nobody happens to stumble in from the internet while I'm playtesting. And then you go down to new, and that'll create, create a new server. You can leave all this information at the top as default, or you can change the name if you, if you like. Click OK. Now we're going to work on Altus. So I'm going to select Altus. Up here we're highlighted as new editor, then click on play. Now, once you're in the editor, make sure you're up on units. You can either click on it or hit F1. Pick a place on the map. I usually pick the airfields because they're flat and they're open. Double click. That'll open your unit dialog. You can leave all this default because you just have to have a playable character in there. Leave it as default and click OK. That's the simplest way to do it. Once you have that down, you're going to go up here to save as. Give your mission a name now. Since I'm working on the description.ext file, I'll name it description. Uh, caps. And then save it as a user mission. That is the file that you'll be able to edit. And I always like to save again as export to multiplayer so I have the most current version of the game uh, in multiplayer. And once you have that selected, click OK. Now, it's uh, saved, it's created the folder, so now we're going to open up Notepad++. Alright, so now we're in uh, Notepad++. Remember, any text editor will work, but I can guarantee some of the other ones won't cause you some sort of problems because it throws extra symbols or text in there. And what you're going to do is just uh, start at the very top. You're going to type in on load mission all one word equals quotes notepad plus plus will give you double quotes so that you don't have to put them in there and then um, you, whatever you want your message to say so for this one we'll type in hello player and make sure you end it with semicolon now make sure you don't have any typos make sure that these are quotes and not some other symbol make sure you do have a semicolon and it's not some other symbol like a comma or something and once you're sure that you're type, you're, uh, you've typed everything correctly, go to File, Save As, and then you're going to go to your um, ARMA 3 folder. Now mine, I'm sorry, not the ARMA 3 folder, but your, your Documents folder that holds the file information. So you go to Users, your Username, <coughs> Documents, and then you're going to go into ARMA 3 and you're going to go into multiplayer mission and find your mission in here. Now because I'm playing under an additional other profile this uh, lone conspirator is not my main profile 
Uh, anything outside of your main will be under others. So you go in there, if that's the case for you, click in the name of the one that you're working under, in this case, Lone Conspirator. Go into Multiplayer Missions, and then Description is the name we saved it under. Go in there, or whatever your mission name is. Now, under Save As Type, go down here, scroll all the way to the top, click All Types, and type in Description.ext. and click Save. Now that should be saved in your Arma 3 folder for missions, and we can double check it by going into your Arma 3 folder, Multiplayer Missions, Description, and there you see there's the description.ext. If you go back into the editor, click on Preview, you'll see the window pop up very quickly before it goes to the player selection, so click your player, click OK, you'll see the window up again a little longer um, you'll notice how quickly that's gone though so you have to stay conscious of how long you make that message because if your mission doesn't have a lot of information to load up it won't be there for very long the reader may not have enough time to read it right, I'm gonna freeze it on the window so that you can see it a little better hello player is now being displayed like we wrote in the uh, description.ext file now for me, I found that I had a limitation of 105 characters that included spaces. And uh, you can see here the bottom line is sort of cut off, so I was only limited to four sentences. I have seen others that were able to get more text in there, so you're just going to have to go by trial and error and see how much of a message you can fit in there. So that's it for this video. My next video will be on Armor 3, continuing with the description.ext file, covering the onload intro command. Uh, if you like this video, please click that subscribe button down there, and I hope to see you back here again. Thanks for joining me. Bye.